Tom, why do you have corn kernels in your bin? I'm talking about, mate. I'm making cornbread today. I thought this was a barbecue channel. Mate, we've been cooking way too much meat lately. We need to give the people something sweet. Cornbread. Bacon. Wow. <laughs> yes, it's going to be a sweet and salty snack. Yeah, we're talking about cornbread. Check it out. While there are many recipes for cornbread out there, we're going to go with an Aussie twist here using some red gum honey. So this is an Australian based honey. It tasted best smoked in our opinion. So we're going to set up the barbecue for some really low temperature smoking. And to do this, we restrict the number of briquettes we put in. Adding in our smoking cubes here, we're going to be able to get the temperature just to 60, 65 degrees for a nice cold smoke. And the honey's going in. We're going to leave this for about 30, 45 minutes. Just keep watching the temperature. At our cooking station now, we're getting our cornmeal measured up. This is quite hard to find in Australia. We're going to use a full cup. Also adding in a cup of all-purpose flour. Adding in half a cup of sugar. Three heaped tablespoons of baking powder. One tablespoon of smoked salt. And we're going for a full cup of milk. Last couple of ingredients, crack an egg. And we're going for the corn kernels. We've lightly mashed these before we add them in. Give it all a big stir. Jeez, he's quick, isn't he? That's what she said. To bake the cornbread, we're gonna to wanna to use a high heat indirect barbecue cooking. Using a cast iron skillet, get it nicely preheated and then spread butter. Surprise, you didn't draw a big penis. It's important to make sure every inch is covered. Whoa, watch out for steaming butter. Grabbing your cornbread batter, we're gonna pour that into the cast iron skillet. Getting every single drop out. We're going for a 20, 25 minute cook time, but we found best just to cook until moist using the skewer test. Just look at that cornbread, guys. Nice and brown on the edges and you can see it's just slightly backed away. That's exactly what you're looking for. Ram a skewer through the middle. If it comes out dirty, you gotta put it back in. Because of that butter we put on there to grease the plate, it should come out effortlessly like you can see Tom doing there and you get that beautiful golden crust around the outside of your cornbread. Now we're finishing this off with some heated off butter and that smoked honey goes drizzled on top and that will give you finishing touch. This cornbread is good to go. I don't know why we bothered cutting it up really. Could ate the whole thing myself. You just can't beat that nice, authentic, freshly made cornbread. Well, this looks fantastic. I'm actually impressed Tom managed to pull this one off. So let's give this cornbread a little bit of a taste. Mm. We've added in some of the corn kernels, which I think are a great way to boost the sweetness, give that little bit of juice and when you take a bite. Pro tip there, love me cornbread, love the cook. Nice and simple dish. Put it on the side of your actual barbecue and you're in for a good time. That's all from us here at Smoke and Dagger, so cheers guys. Hit it on your head. <laughs> Should I just like, yeah. throw it? <laughs> <laughs>